that video didn't work. Doesn't matter. I just realized that I need to update it to 2020 anyway. Um, but welcome to tonight's, to this morning, this afternoon's stream, wherever you're watching from. Um, very exciting uh, hands-on today. So Best Service has sent me a copy of Eduardo Tarilonti's brand new library. Let's switch the view here into Cubase. There we go. And um, so what we want to do is get rid of this, put this into sight. Okay, so what we are going to do is taking a look at this beauty here. Eduardo Tarilonti has done it again, has released a brand new library. Uh, he premiered it at the NAMM show and now it's released. It's uh, $199. It's around 10 gigabytes of content. Nada meditation sounds. And yeah, that's pretty much uh, what you can say about that. It's a library aimed for meditation music, meditation sounds, uh, chill out, calm. We will figure out more as we go along and take a look into that. Uh, let me just leave you guys the link in case you want to check it out yourself on the website. So here you go. Hey Polygraph, hey Morty, hey Metalborn. Hey guys, welcome. So leave a comment if you uh, have any questions, if you uh, yeah, just want to know anything about the, the library. Um, also leave a comment where you're watching from. I'm always interested in uh, where you guys actually come from and listen from. That's just very, very interesting to me. I am just looking for more OBS. There we go. Okay. So we got the link and I forgot to mention at the end of the stream, we will also be doing a giveaway again. So there is that Facebook link to uh, a Facebook post where you can leave a comment. And at the end of the stream, we will utilize a website called Random Comment Picker. And this is the URL uh, where you actually need to post your comment. I post that here as well. And one lucky winner in the end will get a free copy of NADA, courtesy of Best Service. Thanks for providing that. And without further ado, let's jump straight in and take a listen and a look, looky look at what we have, NADA. I can say so much we won't be going into each and every single patch because then that will be a five hour stream or something because there is just so much friggin' content. Starts with percussion pitch, balafon, bells, bowls, crotales, uh, glasses, kalimba, music box, unpitched percussion, the usual suspects. Garam, I don't really know what that is. Gonna look into that. Hensley Bay, metal plate, rain stick, tabla. Then we go on. Pianos, digital pianos, dream piano. And usually when you have this little arrow on the side, there's like five or six different patches. Uh, harmonics piano, new age, white piano, intimate, bright, soft, etc. There's a bunch of strings, Eastern harps, ethnic violin, kodo, tampura, drones, viola da gamba, and violin, and a bunch of winds. This is just the instrument section. Then we have tons and tons and tons of pads, um, all geared towards meditation sounds. Um, would the library be good for a music for fantasy role play game? Well, let's dive in and look into that and then you decide if that fits the bill. And last but not least, uh, I think no no future Edo Auditory Lonte Library without any kind of voices. And this time it's a female voice, very lovely sound. We will listen to that later. Overtone singing. This is a really cool patch. I really love that. I remember the 
Tuvin throat sounds from um, from Omnisphere back from I think it was Sim Pla Planet of Voices Vocal Planet Vocal Planet I think that was the initial uh, sampler. I remember that. And then there's also choirs and different synth voices. But yeah, enough talking, let's jump straight in and let's load the first pad sound here and see what that sounds like. No module control on this one. sound um yeah let's just try out some of these pads category emptiness one thing that I want to mention um, it's kind of the same as with um, Omnisphere and sometimes I really don't understand it um, I have the initial channel set to minus 10 dB pregain because these patches are just insanely loud. Uh, so when you don't have uh, this activate uh, or don't turn the volume down, uh, the initial patches drive the output to like plus 4, plus 6 dB uh, and cause distortion so uh, it's really really loud so you want to turn it down from the get-go when you work with it so by the way guys let me know if uh, audio is fine on your end always tough for me to kind of verify because I don't hear the stream of the audio I just hear the direct sound how many gigabytes it's close to 10 gigabytes Nice delay sounds there. Nice. What else do we have? Let's just, I mean, as I said, I can't go through every single patch, but. Another thing um, that, well, it's not really a bummer, but. Um, I remember in, in his older libraries, Forest Kingdom, etc., 
that uh, especially with the soundscapes, all the different sound elements were pre-mapped to MIDI CCs. I think it was two, three, four or something. So uh, you could instantly dive in and play around with the individual sound elements in terms of, of volume, etc. So these are not pre-mapped anymore. So, and I think it's kind of a little bit sad because with every new patch you load, you need to manually assign uh, whatever um, MIDI comments you you want to uh, have, so I can assign a knob. I mean that's fast, of course, but uh, I like the fact that it was pre-mapped in all the libraries, so you uh, can. can instantly start playing around with the different there are some some sounds that have like five or six layers uh and it was always great about uh, what, what i loved about his uh soundscapes is when you kind of create sounds by interweaving the different elements and bringing them in and out um it's still possible but you need to assign the medias yourself and that's for each sound so this is a little bit like like here for example you have eight different sound sources for for the sound and uh i mean if you see that we are at minus three db on the on the fader and i have it turned down minus 10 so it's incredibly loud so and when you when you midi learn these pads you can create movement within the sound so it's not it's not uh, pre learned or pre routed to any MIDI CCs so that's a little bit of a downer but it still works if you assign it manually So let's take one more pad and then we look into the instruments. It's a combination of a lot of pad. Well, I'm playing the pad sounds right now, which are a big part of the library, but there's also a lot of other stuff that we uh, look to in a minute. Uh, I said last pad, but let's take this one as the last one. So, yeah, meditation pads. Let's jump into the instruments. Let's start with winds. I think, in my opinion, one of the yeah most uh, favorite sounds of mine that Eduardo does uh, back in Forest Kingdom. It started with, then through Era. I just love his... Um, his woodwind sounds and his ethnic winds, especially his legato. Uh, so this is the bamboo flute. Control the vibrato intensity. Then you have like a artificial glide. And this pad that you hear in the back of the uh, sound, you can deactivate it first and foremost.
let's turn down the glide again. So vibrato intensity is pre-mapped to mod wheel and expression to CC11. Expression, of course. Um, tongue attack gives you, I think, a little bit of a staccato sample in the beginning. pad back on and in the advanced setting you can uh, tweak the pad sound in the back so dream wind pad that's dream pad 2 You can really drive that to an insane amount of pad behind the sound. I really like that wind pad in the back. What I would wish for is, uh, unfortunately that is not in here, as, not as far as I can tell. Is like a volume control overall for all the dream pad sound in the back so that I can bring that in and out without necessarily just switching it on and off so uh, that doesn't seem to be there it's just the overall volume I mean you could learn all of these to the same MIDI CC but then again, uh, you lose the settings that you have in between these uh, volumes. You can also pan the different pads. So for example, we say, okay, dream pad two and one, and you can pan that left, right. That sounds pretty nice. And down here we have also a key switch. Oh, that switch is just from legato to polyphonic. So that's the bamboo flute. Next one. have ornaments on this set to MIDI control 3. Let me relearn that. It's 
pretty cool. What else do we have in the wings? We have an alto flute. They are pretty similar due to the pad sounds in the back, but that's fine. Uh, let's check the duduk. What do you think of the built-in reverb? Um, the thing is, I do like the reverb, but when you have several instruments loaded, it gets really, really taxing on your CPU, no matter the processor. So that internal reverb is very demanding. And a lot of times uh, the source samples are pretty much mono. There's not much to them. So when well, compare that, uh, let's turn the dream pad off. So when I turn the reverb off, that's a pretty forward straight mono sample. And then the reverb is really good uh, in terms of broadening the sound and giving that nice shimmer and, and shine. But it's also not the same like when you say, uh, when you slam like a black hole on top. Uh, it doesn't give you that stereo spread that this uh, internal uh, reverb gives you, but um, especially when you use more than one patch or a bunch of pads from the same library, um, it can get pretty heavy on CPU with all the reverbs active. So usually when I have them in my template, I do this with all the other libraries as well. Uh, I switch off the reverb and use my um, routing in my project uh, to route them to different reverbs, but yeah, just compare that when you use the black hole, for example, with a little bit of a more. I want to turn that off and use the internal reverb. I mean, when I dial it in for a little bit more, I might might get close to the um, to the original sound, but you're still missing out on this uh, stereo spread. But then again, when you bring in back in the dream pad, so um, be my solution when I use several uh, instances of the instrument, not utilize the internal reverb. But yeah, let's go on. What else do we have? We have Pan5, Sakurachi.
pad. So you can do quite a lot with these uh, controls. What do the ornaments do here? Nice, legato attack. Uh, do you know how the internal reverb is realized well the it dates back to um i forgot what the initial uh name of the plugin was um magics uh powered by magics of course uh it is it was not origami uh some some japanese name i think um uh, the problem is that you can't access, well, not to my knowledge, uh, you can't access the reverb in the back end here. So I'm not really sure what I can do with it. Uh, by the way, you see here in the output how much this is clipping and running over. Uh, so maybe a good solution would be to set the initial volume of the patch here to minus 10. Um, ba, 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 ba. let's go on. We have the woodwinds. Let's take a look at, let's start with the pianos here. Uh, let's start with this one white intimate piano. At first I was a little bit put off by the sound, but you have to keep in mind this is not like, like a felt piano or piano library or etc. It's really suited for that style of um, meditation and chill out music. And in combination with all the other pads, these piano sounds work really, really well. Just realized that I may um, move the chat a little bit because it's hard to read down there. So I hope that works better. So, yeah, piano. Hey Antonio, good to see you. How are you doing? Are articulations triggered with velocity? I mean, it is velocity sensitive, but there is not really much in terms of different articulations per patch, like key switches, etc. The only key switches I found so far were from uh, legato to polyphonic. Um, and if you refer to these uh, ornaments, for example, there's a dedicated slider. It's not based on velocity. So there's that. Mm, then we were at pianos. Let's check some of the digital pianos. Dream piano. A 
again for all you guys that are uh, that came here later um, just playing through the sounds with uh, no additional plugins or uh, processing applied the only thing that I did is to reduce the input by minus 10 because that library is pretty loud uh, and causes clipping when you don't turn it down and also let me just repost the link for the giveaway so you have the chance of winning this or well being drawn uh, to get this library for free at the end of the stream so if you leave a comment on this Facebook post that I just posted the link to in the chat um, you can win the copy of the library and right now we have let's, let me check already 26 different comments so uh, you better hurry if you want to get in there next piano patch digital piano let's take another dream piano Loads of delay there. Then the next one would be... What else do we have? Harmonics piano. Wow, I love that sound. going on in there so I want to check this out oops why is my <laughs> ah, give me a moment there we go So this area here, there's a lot of rumble going on. So that might need a little bit of taming in a mix, but um, nothing to worry there. inspiring sounds and again when you compare that without all the effects applied the dry sound in and of itself
which on the other hand also means that if you turn off the internal processing you there's a lot that you can do with a with a um, core sounds without the effects let's just give that a short try uh, for example when we say uh, sound toys has some cool stuff there the sound effect rack uh, let's just load some presets here well not the best example uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. let's take some of the guitar pitches might be even more effective lots of you guys have uh, complete native instruments so you usually do have guitar rig um, so you could go into some styles ambient and try some very very crazy I mean if you have the audio imperial photosynthesis this library actually contains some really great uh, guitaric presets I'm drifting away so back to the sounds we were at pianos uh, last but not least we have some new age close to a banjo um, so let's look into well first before we jump into the strings and everything let's listen to some of the pitch percussion One could argue that all these patches are kind of like drowned in reverb, but I mean, it's a little bit in the nature of the genre that the library is sitting in, meditation sounds, so you need these evocative uh, white spaces. Why did it switch to voice? Um, and... So you need this reverb on the sound and you can always switch it off if you feel it's too much. There, by the way, just listen to the pitch percussion on, on their own, Bellaphone bells, then we have dream bells, meditation bells, temple, so, so it's just an insane amount of sounds in here. Uh, let's check some of the meditation bells. Thank you. 
Will you compose with it today? At least that's the plan. I just want to go through some more of the sounds. So then we have bolts. And <laughs> these bolts are also ensemble and single. So it's just. stuff. Protalis. Hi, Yerk. Welcome to the stream. Then Kalimba. Also very nice sound. We have some unpitched percussion symbols. Well, let's check the crescendos. I hope, let's look, I hope there are some decent gong sounds in here as well. Yeah, there is a gong. Chiron FX. Oh, I love that. That's also great for horror films and stuff like that. And then we have Hard Mallet. mallet. And Soft Mallet. Now that's a gong sound. And Sleigh Bell. If you happen to have them do some meditation Christmas or well, there's that. There is also what is Gatam info? Indian percussion made of clay, the Gata Gatam. Gatam, used in Carnatic music, is one of the most ancient percussion instruments from South India. Sounds a little bit like a talking drum, African. So that's very nice. Uh, Tabla rain stick is always good to have. Good. What else? What else? What else? What else do we have? Um, Tabla wind chimes. You can oh, <laughs> look at the selection of wind chimes. Holy macaroni. And then it's not only all these different patches, but you also have these key switches that give you different um, different effects.
yeah there's definitely a ton of stuff to discover in here Take the wind chimes four. And they go on forever. Okay, let's take a look at the strings. Eastern harps. That's definitely a Q starter patch. What does it sound like without the dream pad? piano let's go to ethnic violin so this one is legato let's quickly learn the glide time One thing to note, uh, I mean, I just learned it to to this uh, MIDI knob here on the complete control, and it's kind of counterintuitive looking on the interface when you move it to the right and that knob is moving to the left. Just so you know, uh, it's kind of strange. So moving it right increases Maybe it would have been better from a from a graphics standpoint to move these the other way around as well. It's kind of a little bit. Interesting sound, definitely. Kodo, I always loved a good Kodo sound. I mean, definitely evokes that Eastern feel. 
Tampura drones, four string Tampuri with different tunings as well. We oh, say Jeffro. Welcome to the stream. So, like kind of ongoing drones. And then we have a six string male number. I didn't know they had a gender. Yeah, good question. What makes this a meditation library? The underlying pads, of course. Um, other than that, it's it's very ethnic driven, I would say, but also, again, that's in the nature of the genre. Similar to today's cello, I would say. Violin. Well, if it makes you happy, Jeffro. <laughs> If you turn off the pad layer, I mean, it has nothing to do with the like orchestral solo string library or something, but that's not the aim of the library, so it sounds very, very much different. But as I've mentioned before, it would not be an Eduardo library without any kind of vocal gems. And listen to this. Another Q starter, yeah, right there. Um, <clears throat> then we have Oom. Are there some pad sounds or pad has used only just a layer? There is a ton of uh, first welcome, uh, even if you were late. Uh, there's uh, tons of pads that 
are comprised of very different pads and sounds that you can all bring in and out. You can say, I don't want to have a piano in there. There's still a piano in there. How much is this? It's $1.99. In if you scroll up the chat, I posted the link in the beginning of the chat. Um, by the way, a uh, good reminder to uh, one more uh, post the link to the giveaway today. So you can win a copy of the library if you leave a comment on this Facebook post that I am just about to link in the chat. And uh, let me check where we are. Right now we have 39 different comments. So if you leave a comment now, it's a one in 40 chance to grab a copy of the library. Where else in the world do you get this? It's not a lottery that is, well, a giveaway. <laughs> one of you lucky guys will get it. I was still at the vocal patches, so we have, and this is a real gem. Listen to this. All 12 keys, major and minor phrases that you don't need to do much with, but just hold down a key. That just one freaking key. Go to F here. I just love that. And the same we have in minor as well. Very cool. I really like that. <clears throat> then we have some synth voices. Very great. I mean, these are pad like as well. So it looks like, um, <clears throat> actually, let me try this. Uh, MIDI learn this, MIDI learn this, MIDI learn this, and MIDI learn this. What's happening? My dogs make noises. Um, so when I hold a patch, So that's pretty cool. You can uh, do quite a lot with that. Really cool sounds there. Um, another synth voice, Sacred Choir.
I can see so much usage for these sounds in future cues. It's incredible. Really good stuff. And last but not least, what we haven't checked yet is the overtone singing. Do any of you guys remember this plugin from like, oh God, 15 years ago, uh, that singing monk? Um, what was it called? Uh, VST monk? It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Delay Lama, exactly. <laughs> that guy was funny. Uh, in case you don't know, because that's quite old already. Uh, do we have, it was pretty much this guy. Well, we have, um, commercial, of course. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, so pretty much Eduardo has done that in good. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, so, where were we? So there's another patch, number two. Oh wow, with the mod wheel you control the overtone, the actual. cool i really like that what else do we have here last but not least moving effects and actually know what this is uh, definitely Q start already. Tempo 60, so something slow and chill uh, I would go with uh, to start with that. So this is um, overtone effects. So there's no mod wheel anything involved okay let's take this as a starting point
where is that is mod wheel so i want to be very subtle with that so mod wheel controls this uh, effects blend so over the coil this is uh six bars actually let's do this eight bars so i'm gonna extend the range here i want to have that running for eight bars and just do some subtle movement in the effects control how much that is applied so let's see how that sounds and you can see the slider moving here I think we can turn up the volume a little bit. Well, my stream deck is not running. So. Give it a little bit more beef. Let's duplicate this second engine. I mean, engine is multi timbral, so I could also load, I think, eight or 16 instruments uh, into, into engine itself. But when I duplicate, it's just easier for me. So, minor braces. Let's load these and bring them in. Um, we want to go with E minor. Let's record this. that you go for D minor well I'm sorry can't do that all the time there are 11 other keys that we need to uh, utilize so just a little bit I mean I don't know if that stays just felt let's give So what we need is definitely a little bit of bell type stuff. If you wonder why I do the coloring uh, based on my major uh, main template, I have a strict rule about colors for certain instrument types. So strings is green and brass is yellow and stuff like that. So vocal is red and tuned percussion is this uh, dark orange or this orange color. So that's why. Um, I colorize that while I'm working. Um, it's just easier to keep track of where everything is. Um, let's go with the meditation. No. Yeah, let's try the meditation belts and see which one fits. Like that one. So that is which one is it? Meditation bell four. Oh, can't, no, 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 no. Meditation bell four. Bring 
that in there again. And, and now let's do one of the pads to get going. First, we need a pad. Come on, come on. Nada meditation pads. Let's go with what do we feel like? Mm, illumination. Illumination sounds good. By the way, I realized that I duplicated it with a volume all the way down. So this is, well, let's, don't take the first one, dude. That one sounds nice. Mm. Okay, let's try this. Up, 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 two. there so that was what was the patch illumination three pet illumination three I'm just naming everything uh, oh I have never saved it so let's call it nada um, do you know about the new flute library? No, I have not heard about that one. Uh, have you heard about upcoming Jade Jari Orchestra from Stresov? Yeah, I saw the announcements and I'm very excited about this one because, uh, yeah, as you correctly state, there is not much out there in that realm in that regards. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, next library from Eduardo will be something Asian. I think he mentioned that on Facebook that he's going to do that. So that's going to be interesting as well. But um, I loved Stresov's uh, Bulgarian orchestra, so I'm pretty sure they will nail it with a uh, Jade Chinese orchestra or Chinese sounds, ethnic sounds. Very cool. So, back to topic. We have this. A bell can be a bit softer. start with a basic I mean cool thing about the meditation sounds and stuff like that is that the harmonies usually are pretty simple and evocative so holding down E minor in the bass and just doing uh, if you look at the keyboard here uh, just doing uh, tr not even try it's E and G on the top. Something like that, if you have, it's really just, it's pretty much E minor D, C, D. Uh, it's not that complicated. Um, but if you lay down that as a foundation, 
actually let me let me double the uh, click sound easier to count. Very simple stuff there. I changed it a little bit, added um, oh damn. There we go. When is the lottery soon? I want to have some kind of rhythm, but very subtle. So let's see what we have in the in the percussion section. Instruments, percussion, unpitched. Let's try the tabla. Just trying to figure out a little bit of rhythm. I'm no tablet player by any means, so I don't really know what I'm doing here. Uh, I just try to find something that I feel sounds good. And I don't want to have it too busy um, because we're still talking about meditation music. Solo that. Didn't, didn't like that one. There was a roll patch though. Light.
Okay, something like that. So, um... And that right sound is a little bit too far right for my taste, so bring that a little bit closer to the center. Also, a little bit up front. Uh, I think that could use a little bit of compression because that high sound is coming through very, very piercing. So let's try to. the pad track uh, and slam like a solo sound on top obviously go for I would go for one of the woodwind sounds name it solo until we actually know what sound we are gonna use <sighs> how does it compare to EW there's no comparison at all VSL is a completely different beast uh, different sound when it's the lottery end of stream which will be pretty soon um, do you often stay up late <laughs> depends on the project I'm working on and if it requires to stay up late sometimes it happens sometimes I don't Let's go with a doo-doo. Well, blah, 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 yeah, doo pretty loud and I need to get this part and uh, that guy I don't feel too comfortable with the duduk it's very similar to the pad sound we have already uh, so we go let's try the bamboo and also what I want to do is uh, reduce the volume of the pad a little bit uh, so we have expression all the way up here, and then we go down with expression to, say, right up on there. already t way too much going on there uh, so what I want to do is first I want to learn the glide time um, well it's on three let's put it on five okay legato attack is on five as well so let's put this one on three to not mess anything up okay I'm still confused by this fader moving to the left instead of to the right And I keep the pad there. Maybe I turn the pad off. Uh, let's see what we can do.
little bit of uh, CC11 automation. Something like this. Uh, this is bamboo. Um, bring back these guys. I just want to have like an ending note here. I don't want to go too crazy with a with a full feature length track. I just want to have a quick um, play. Just a low pad. Done. Uh, duplicate these. Just want to add the solo vocal on top of the flute line there. Well, not add, but... Um, Oh, that's yeah, that's the one. Sorry, whoop instruments vocal. There we go. And a little bit of a melody on the side and I put that a little bit to the left so it stands out a little more that is vocal legato I mean that low end bass from the pad in the end. I mean that's that's pretty much a full track. Uh, one minute twenty. 
with what is it five patches one two three four five okay seven patches but still um it's incredibly inspiring um don't even need to do much on the master channel it's already sitting at close to zero db uh and even not much mixing needs to be done so it sounds pretty cool so this is like well, what was it 15 minutes work I mean, you could bring in more and more. You could do some these uh, bell uh, tree patches, put in some wind sounds. And we have 49 participants in the giveaway, so it's your last chance. Look for the links, leave a comment in the face on the Facebook post. If you don't do it now, you're missing out. We are giving away a free copy of Nada in right about two minutes. I feel intrigued to put a low boom on that last note there, but I keep it at that for now. Um, it's, yeah, it's incredibly inspiring. There's a ton of sound. We didn't go through all of the sounds. Remember that you can, if you want to try out more, uh, Best Service has this Try Sound platform, I think trysound.com, or go to the Best Service website. Um, so you can kind of virtually load up the instrument and uh, play around with it for I think it's a 20 minute slot or something um, funnily enough they have like this uh, security measure that you throughout the whole session you have this like birds singing so you can't really use it but for that kind of library actually I think it's uh, helpful to have the bird sounds in the back because it just uh, adds to the overall uh, experience of the library anyway let's look at the random comment picker no i don't want any thank you uh let's look we have 51 different uh users so what we do is uh play a little bit of the music we just did with the solo and Turn down the master volume a little bit, which also turns down my mic. That is unintended. But we will very calmly today draw today's winner. So we will start the raffle now. Fingers crossed that your name is going to pop up. Let me hit the button now. So, who's going to be today the winner? Rui Garcia, congratulations. You have won a free copy of Nada. I will get in touch with you through Facebook Messenger. Uh, Rui Garcia, congrats. Congrats, Eduardo, to a beautiful, beautiful library release. Uh, I think it sounds incredible. It feels uh, or plays incredible. It's really responsive the legato is great on the instruments uh what can i say head over to bestservice.com and uh, bestservice.de sorry and uh grab it if you are into that type of music and want to create that type of music i think uh it's really really good <laughs> turns also down the mic that's what a master is supposed to do. Uh, yeah, right, it is. Well, thanks so much for watching. Uh, next stream is going to be uh, 
yeah, I think beginning next week, uh, I take a look at Ethera Gold 2, which was just released. Uh, I wanted to do that before, but I was away for a week. So uh, back on track now, and there's a bunch of more stuff to come. So be sure to uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Twitch, and follow the Facebook page so you are alert when new streams and new videos come up. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.